dollar. Hey, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Cowboy Repeater mod, which is being made by user Lucas and Columbo. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is, well, the Cowboy Repeater, which makes its triumphant return from Fallout New Vegas, and of course, representing in the game the real world Winchester Model 1892, which is just fun and I've definitely been enjoying my time with this weapon. So let's uh, jump on over here and have a look at what we do get with the most standard version of the Cowboy Repeater, which in its most basic form will deal 40 damage with a 4440 round with a firing rate of 5, a range of 206, accuracy of 74, and a weight of 11. Pretty hefty there, but nice. And as you can see here, it is a beautiful looking gun. Very nice on the modeling, very nice on the texturing. All in all, just looks good. Good. And also does come with a custom animation. Always nice to have. Now, we also do get a pretty decent list of modifications here, including some aesthetic modifications, which I always do enjoy because, come on, who doesn't like changing the look of their gun to better match them? It's very wonderful to have. Now, as for the more practical modifications, we've, we get a good list, but nothing that's going to make this thing too crazy. But we do get some really good ones for upping the damage, making this a pretty suitable weapon in the mid to even early late game, which is a very nice. Now, as for how you do get your hands on one of these lovely rifles, well, that's that's actually a little bit more complicated. It's, it's actually not hard to get, but there's a weird tiered system. Now, first and foremost, you are going to require the Far Harbor DLC for this thing to work. Now, once you have that and you reach level 12, you're actually going to get a quest, which will take you downtown to a specific side street where you'll find a poor, unfortunate soul dead on the ground. Next to him is going to be a broken one of these rifles, as well as a magazine that teaches you how to fix it. And once you do grab those, the quest is done, and you can actually head on over to any chemistry station in the world where you can actually actually repair that gun using that ruined cowboy repeater you picked up along with some acid screws springs steel and wood and rank one in gun nut to get yourself a fully functioning cowboy repeater which is magnificent you also notice here we do get the ability to create some ammo types as one of the modifications you can do for the gun which we'll talk about here in a moment is you can rechamber it for different ammo types including these two custom ones which on that you may have noticed when i was in the pit boy and also right here there actually is a typo a little bug at the moment where it's saying it's a 40 40 round but in fact it is actually these 44 40 rounds so yeah just an odd little uh graphical typo there but it is the 4440 that this gun does use by default now i said it was a weird tiered system that all happens at level 12. at level 16 well oh boy you can now start to find these guns on raiders and gunner bosses it's going to be rare but they will show up on occasion again that's level 16. and finally starting at level 21 a particular vendor called El Mudo, you can find in the world, will start selling those ruined rifles that you can then, of course, use in the chemistry station to repair to get yourself a nice, fancy new one. So yeah, we got a weird tiered system, but once you get past level 21, you're going to be able to find these basically whenever you need. And there is even a legendary one hidden out there in the world, which, uh, you know, have a good time finding. It's, uh, it's a pretty neat gun pretty neat gun indeed but let's have a look at the modifications we do get here and of course start with the receiver category where we've got the pretty standard list of things going from well a standard receiver to tuned calibrated hardened 
all the way up to advanced, which receiver-wise will get you the highest damage at 90, which is pretty darn good. You can up that a little bit more by rechambering the ammunition down in a little bit. Now, next we have the barrel category, where we either have the standard long or a short magazine tube barrel. The barrel itself is uh, the same length, but the tube magazine is shorter, holding eight rounds instead of the full 12. Now, then after that, we have the stock category, where we have either the full or marksman stock. Then after that, the sights, where we've got some fun options, starting with a standard iron sight to a glow sight, a long scope, 4x, a reflex sight in either circle or dot, another long scope, then an extra long scope, which is my personal favorite, because look at it, it takes up the entire length of the gun, it's wonderful, I, I just, I like that old timey look. Then we also do have night vision versions of those, a night vision long, a night vision 6x, and a night vision extra long, good times. Now then, in the muzzle category, by default it comes with nothing, but you can also get a compensator, a maxim silencer, or a suppressor. Now for me, the maxim silencer is the coolest. It's just, it seems to fit the gun a lot better, and I love how it does attach to the barrels here. Looks uh, very good. Now then, we have the ammo section, where you can rechamber it from the standard 4440. You can actually downgrade it to a 38 or the 357 Magnums, or upgrade it on up to a 4570 round, which will add an additional five points of damage, making the max uh, damage for this gun on its own, without any perks, being 95. Now, of course, with various perks, you can get that up a little bit higher, but uh, overall, that does make it a pretty decent gun. Now, the final two categories we have are those aesthetic ones. The first being stock style, where we either have a rustic walnut, maple wood, or varnished walnut. Look at those beautiful reds. It's a nice one there. And finally, we have the metal style, where we've got the standard brass, brass engraved, brass engraved with dog meat on it. And a normal iron engraved, a engraved dog meat there, again of the uh, steel rather than iron, sorry. And then rusty and rusty brass. So some good options there, and I love that even on the uh, nicer engraved ones, it still looks a little worn down. It's not all shiny and clean, and even with the varnished wood, it still doesn't look that clean. It still looks a little bit beaten up, you know, as it should in the post-apocalyptic commonwealth. But all in all, a very lovely selection of modifications. Let's actually get this thing out and do some shooting. And tech fire! There you go, as you can see, not the quickest gun ever, but a fun one. My one issue with it is it just takes so long to reload, because you gotta put in each shell individually, one by one, up to 12, and it just, it just takes so long, but worth it as it's just such a fun gun, a beautiful, clean animation on the reload on that, and just all in all, a fun, lever action rifle. Now let me grab the uh, silenced one here. I did make this one with the amusing long scope, the maxim silencer, and the lovely varnished walnut. I did also make another one over here with some of the other things, but uh, damage wise it's no better than the uh, current uh, upgraded one that I made here, and sound-wise, of course, is going to sound the same as the standard. So, uh, it just looks darn good, though. I do love those different woods you can put on there, but let's take a look at this one in action. Again, the amusing scope on the side, taking up the whole barrel length, and making for a nice, a fun, accurate rifle. And with 95 damage on there, not too shabby. Not the best, but certainly not the worst, and definitely helping you make this thing a little bit more useful later into the game. Always a fun time, and I love the detail on the engraving for this. It's just such a good-looking weapon. That, of course, means it's time to test this against a live enemy, which 
Oh boy, it means a death claw. I haven't tested this against a death claw yet, but let's let's get in here and pop him into the cage, cause uh, there we go. Run away! I'm inside of him. Okay, there we go. Hi, Mr. Death Claw. Oh boy, maybe the scope one wasn't the best to choose. Maybe I should go grab the other. I actually don't know if I rechambered this one. I think this one only does 90, but still. The scope on the uh, 95 one, not the greatest for close range. <laughs> so there we go, with a nice reflex on there. And this one does have the shorter uh, tube magazine with only eight rounds, but still, you know, very nice, uh, very serviceable, and actually doing some pretty decent damage on this guy when you actually hit him in the belly. If he'd actually turn to face me. All right, let's get him close, let's get him close. And he's turned again. I need you to please die now, Mr. Death Claw. It's actually not going too awful there. All right, all right, almost. We've almost got him down. All right, one more reload with this and we should have him. Excellent. Hi, you, show me your belly, please. And boom, and boom, there he goes. Excellent. Our quarry has been slain. I'll take his bottle caps. Wonderful. But yes, uh, that is the Cowboy Repeater Rifle. Adding in a fun old gun from New Vegas, and of course, the real world Winchester 1892. It's a nice little addition to the game with some fun modifications, a neat little quest to go and get it, and also, of course, I mean, just some new fun ammo types and a beautifully engraved gun, which is just neat. So if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for today. Hope you all have enjoyed, and you do come back for the next. But until that time, uh, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.